What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Thanks for pressing play. Today we have another product review. We've done a couple of these in the past with the Fantic items and honestly, every one of the Fantic items ends up being fantastic. Maybe that's where the name comes from, but we're about to review another one because we have gotten another vacuum cleaner. I know, I know, I know. A vacuum cleaner, but it is part of the garage arsenal and I have every one of their vacuum cleaners from small to fairly large. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna to be doing the handheld battery operated vacuum cleaner comparison. Let's do it. So like I said, today's video is gonna be all about the Fantic V10 Apex. This is their largest battery operated vacuum cleaner for the garage and I started to unbox it, but I realized I wanted to kind of wait for this to do it on camera because their boxing method is so Apple-esque. I mean, everything is so packaged nicely and put together really well. It's just, it gives you a feeling of quality just unboxing this thing. Now we're gonna compare all of them that I have so far, because like I said, I have three different versions of this particular vacuum cleaner, all ranging from really little all the way up to this one, which is about the size of this box. And we're gonna see just how well this performs because yeah, Vacuum cleaners are a big part of our usage here at the Horsepower Obsessed Garage because we like to keep our stuff clean. Even though my car is filthy right now, the interior is always clean and the vacuums are a big part of that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish unboxing this thing and uh, we're going to kind of compare all three of these. All right, and here is everything kind of unboxed. So the V10 Apex is this guy right here. And as you can see, it's not huge, but it's definitely bigger than the other ones, which we'll show you in a second. But just for comparison's sake here, this has a good bit of suction power, and this is just level one. There's actually two levels to this. If I bump it up, it's even more. And yeah, we'll show you that in action in a second. But I want to show you everything it comes with. So it comes with an extension hose to add on, and a couple different brushes. Uh, this one here is like a, a rubber kind of end here to pick up hair or pet hair out of your car a couple little brushes to clean the the device out and then also a spare filter so this air filter actually goes inside on the side part here to literally filter out dust and uh possibly even allergens and here we have all three guys so back here is the smallest of the three this is the fantic v8 mate and you can actually see in the dustbin there, I've been using it quite a bit. There's a bunch of bugs and dirt vacuumed up in there. Then here is the V9 Mate, and you can also see in here there's a little bit of dirt in there that I've used a couple times. Um, it is non-retractable here, so this is kind of the size of it all the time. And then the V10 Mate, which this whole thing actually curls up underneath the vacuum to kind of spare space, basically. All three of these are USB-C rechargeable, so whenever the time comes that the batteries do die you just charge them with the USB-C which everybody seems to have laying around their house at this point and the nozzle of these are small enough with uh, the Fantic V8 and of course the new Fantic V10 that came with the same kind of nozzle that I can actually get in through the front of the grills in the C7 and C8 to vacuum out leaves and stuff. So these things end up being really, really handy versus busting out the big shop vac or something along those lines. Plus these things wrap up small enough that you can actually keep them in your car if you really want. To. The best part is guys right now, if you wanna get the V10 Apex, which is honestly out of the three here, probably the best option for most people for use in your garage. There is a Prime Day sale going on right now that if you use the code PDV10APEX, it's going to give you a 15% off coupon for the V10 Apex here. Now, really, if you go to buy this thing right now, it's only $99.99. This is $100. Bucks. So I'm assuming normally it's $129. So norm normally it's $130. Bucks. You're saving $30 off of this thing right now. Yeah, you could get this thing for a really good price. Anyway, let's go ahead and try all of these out so I can kind of show you what these things are capable of. I know a lot of you are here to do to see what these things could do, not just look at them. So let's 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 do some vacuuming. Now I usually keep my cars pretty clean. This is what I have on the floor in my Z06. We're gonna go ahead and demonstrate vacuuming this up real quick. Not that this is anything crazy, but this carpet is kind of a material that holds dirt a little bit 
stiffer than most other fabrics so it is kind of hard to sometimes work it out and the vacuum here i don't know if i mentioned this yet it actually has two levels if we turn it on you get a nice led indicator here but if you hit the button up at the top it kind of puts it into a a sport or power mode where it's obviously got a little bit stiffer suction so we're going to use that and see just how well we can clean up down in here so you can see it's sucking pretty much everything up Yeah, so obviously doing its job here, but I know this isn't exactly the, the truest of true tests, but just to show you, it does also have a bin empty indicator, meaning basically that little red bin there that pops up. When that will pop up, it means you need to <laughs> empty the bin. So kind of cool that it would remind you of such a thing, but there is also on the tip here, what they call a crevice tool and we can slide that out and it will allow you to kind of get in between the crevices of your seat allow you to pull out the crevice tool and now it basically just gives the the entire tip of the device a little bit of a smaller approach so we can go ahead and vacuum out the crevices of the seat so again super useful but I'm going to see if I can find something a little dirtier to get this thing on. I'm not actually going to show the usage of either one of these two because I've already done a video on that. So if you want to see one of these two in action, check the link up here to the top right of your screen for the video I did on that one before. This one is going to be specifically about the V10 Apex. All right, so I really wanted to give you guys an idea of how good the suction power is on this vacuum while cleaning out one of my cars. But I noticed really quickly that because of these vacuums, I keep my cars already so clean that I don't have any dirt on, my, on the floors of my cars to show you how this thing works. Oh man, Fantic is literally keeping me too clean. I don't know. The cars, my, my car, my wife's car, my TRX, they're, they're all so clean on the inside that I literally don't have any dirt to vacuum up. So I'm gonna just try to vacuum up some random things and see how well it will suck them up. Let's do that. All right, so here's a leaf on my garage floor. It's been kind of wet, so it's probably stuck to the floor to some degree. Let's see if this will suck it up under the initial power, not the sport mode. Uh, kind of. Let's see if sport mode will take it in the rest of the way. Yep, it did. So, it, it can suck up little things around the house as well. If you're not just buying this just for a, a, a car keeper, but like I said, guys, I, I apologize, but <laughs> my cars are just, here's, here's a couple rocks just laying on the garage floor. And yeah, suck them right up course B barely trying here just sucking up little things around the garage here's a little piece of dirt obviously it's sucking that up in just regular mode not in what i like to call sport mode but yeah here's another little rock yeah so not really even having any trouble sucking any of this stuff up if you really needed to you would just put this in sport mode or basically the second mode of the of the vacuum to really get it working a little bit harder but yeah, like I said, the cars are just, I, I guess I just keep them too clean. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to empty this because there are actually, oh, there's a lot of dirt in there. Look at that. You must have sucked up a lot of stuff off the garage floor. Anyway, let's go ahead. I'm going to demonstrate how to empty this thing now. All right, so one of the bigger selling points to this vacuum is obviously, like I showed you, you can kind of wrap it up underneath itself. But the thing is, is you can lock that in any position you want. So if you want to use it like this in your car with that nozzle kind of facing straight down, you can do that. So if you want to bend it all the way up and have it kind of angled up like that, you can do that too. Now, what I want to show here is how to empty it. So believe it or not, like I said, we got a good bit of stuff in there. So what we're going to do is actually press this button right here, which will allow us to detach it from the actual basket. Now in here, you can see that's the filter that they actually sent us a, an additional one of. That's going to help keep all the dust and everything from recirculating back into the air. And that's actually all that this mode is for, is just replacing that filter. So we're going to go ahead and clip this back into place like so. And the basket's actually right here. So all we got to do is just kind of pull this and it will allow us to open it up and inside you'll be able to see all the dirt. I mean, look at all that. We didn't really even vacuum that much. You can kind of see in there, it chopped up all the leaves and everything, but yeah, 
we'll just go ahead and turn it and dump it out. That's it. You can close this and you'll hear it snap back into place and then we're ready to go clean up some more cars. So yeah, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm really liking this. Of course, like I said, my cars maintain the cleanliness that they do because of the other two that I have. This one feels like it's actually got a little bit of better suction than the other bigger one that I have in the garage there that I showed you, the V9 Apex. This one feels like it's going to do even better. So not only does it have better suction, but it also will last longer. It's from what the instructions said, about two and a half hours to a full charge with the USB-C port, which is back here. Just pop this rubber grommet out and there's your C port for charging two and a half hours full charge and it will run for a while I just busted this out of the box did the little bit of vacuuming that we've done so far and as you can see I'm still at 39% so this thing will work it works nicely and it will last for a while so yeah check out the link in the description down below save yourself some money on one come this prime day Another interesting selling point to these Fantic devices, this V10 Apex specifically, is that when you do turn it on, if you haven't noticed, obviously there is an LED display right there, but there's also an LED light. So if you're doing this in the dark or in a darker area of your car, you'll have the light to guide you. That will tell you the percentage. It will also pop up with a little red bin icon whenever it's time to empty the bin. And if you need a little more suction power, you just hit this plus minus button here and it'll take you up to sport mode, like I said. So very cool. All right, guys, that's going to kind of do it for today's video. I'm going to obviously leave links in the description down below for the V10 Apex, the V9 Apex, and the V8 Apex. If you're interested in any of them, you can check them out in the description down below. But this is Fantix's latest offering in the vacuum cleaner lineup, and I think this is the better of the three, to be honest with you, because of the fact it folds up. It's smaller than this one, but offers longer battery life and better suction power. Plus, there's a really awesome discount going on right now for it, so... Again, check that description down below and use that code we gave earlier in the video, which will also be in the description below, to grab one of the V10 Apexes for yourself. Now, obviously, guys, I'm a big fan of the Fantic products. If you guys are familiar with the channel, I have reviewed their tire inflators, their battery jump packs, and now their vacuum cleaners. And honestly, they have yet to make a bad product. I'm very, very impressed every time I open one of these things up, just how well it does the job that it was built for. But anyway, guys, like I said, if you like those products, check out the links in the description down below. If you like this video, press the thumbs up button. Let me know you're liking the content so I can keep doing this kind of stuff for you. Subscribe if you haven't, guys. And as always, stay obsessed.